Well, it's social entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's innovating around a system <laughs> that's rather intractable and finding those points where, where you can come in with creativity and thought leadership and change things up, in this case, change things up for people's lives and be, be that inflection point that, that a rather calcified system doesn't allow for, typically. Um, so I, had, I started in for-profit entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. but when Carlos and I went and spoke to that classroom at Carlmont High School, we met, we met students like the students who are in that video. And um, in fact, exactly one of them, uh, indeed, who became in our first class of college track. What we found was, though, we, saw, we found such, such a failed system mm -hmm. that it needed kind of an exogenous shock. It needed the, the type of entrepreneurship and problem solving that, that I was I was doing in the for-profit space that I thought, what a higher and better use of my life to do it in the social sector. But you brought a, um, an intensity uh, and a flair to it that we typically see it in tech, you know, mm -hmm. but then it, to bring, and, and just the whole style about, just the style of that, I mean, there's a bit of theater in that. Because mm -hmm. I teared up the other day, like I was at a, watching that, that just like I was watching a, you know, a, a nominee for, mm -hmm. for the Academy Awards. So yeah. that you, I think, you appeal yeah, you're to right. my I empathy. Think, um, well, well, change requires movement, and movement requires communications and marketing, and so that's what that's what you're seeing. It it, it happens to also be the truth, and it happens to yeah. be deeply powerful because it's people's authentic words. But it's nevertheless a, a type of marketing. The other thing struck me, and this is the engineer in me. You know, it's data. I mean, if you go to collegetrack.org or whatever, you know, if you mm -hmm. go, go to the home page, immediately you see that, and that grabs your heart. Uh, but then, you know, I'm satisfied as the engineer below as you set metrics. I mean, you set, you set measurable mm -hmm. goals. And right. they were, they, some showed up. You actually are over 2,000 already, I think, right? Well on the way to... Oh, yes. This, I mean, year, this year we're serving 2,000 students, but we have over 200 college graduates who've mm -hmm. gone through the entire program. We started off with a, a high school program that was all about um, sincere college readiness. But what we discovered is when students are first in their families to go to college, they actually need support all the way through to complete college. So then we extended the program to 10 years. So we gave students six years to complete ah, college. Got it. Well, yeah. I just like the attention to, to, well, to so, that and bring well, that into there's, this. There's, there's no way to know if you're actually reaching your goals and affecting the change if you don't collect data. Mm -hmm. So you have to be data driven. The same principles apply in the nonprofit space as they do in the for-profit space. Oh, that's such that's a, that's a really important comment. Can you expand on that a little bit? Because that we we get asked this a lot. The name of our center is the Stanford Technology Ventures Program, and they mm -hmm. say, "Well, that means you don't do social entrepreneurship." And so, I, help uh -huh. help us on this. Um, well, I think I think that philanthropy and nonprofit space used to be used to be sort of characterized as a softer space, mm -hmm. but but actually that's not the case at all. Um, with the advent of venture philanthropy and impact philanthropy, people are people are really looking to the space to affect change, and people. Go, I think everyone in their lives, if they have a notion and a philosophy of what they want to do with their time on the planet, they want to have impact and, and affect change. And the only way you can do that is through metrics and goals mm -hmm. and then strategies and tactics. It's, it's the exact same way that you accomplish anything in either space.